If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Now we're good. Alright. Box of Battle for Zendikar. Would you like to do the honors? After you, go ahead. Alright. I'm gonna turn this into an ASMR video. No. Maybe not. What's an ASMR video? I don't actually know for what that stands. It's been a while since I've seen it. It's those... You see those videos where people are whispering like this and opening the packs like... Why do they whisper? I don't know. It's supposed to be like... Like, more... Stimulate. I don't know, whatever. There's a Wikipedia article on it in the description below. But there we go. <laughs> Alright, so were we like going back and forth? I don't, forth I don't see it. I don't see the Wikipedia. Lizzie, do you wanna do you wanna open a pack or two? <laughs> uh, Where is this Wikipedia? I don't, I see don't it remember what's on these. The camera? Oh, by the way, um, well I guess it's too late for box mappers anyway, right? Because uh, so do you know what box mapping is? Um, you know, I thought I, I think I saw something about it, like with uh like, I don't know, like some kind of app or something that lets you kind of, after you open a couple, it... Yeah, I I guess it probably doesn't matter at this point because Battle for Zendikar is so old. Probably Someone's either already come up with it or it's not as profitable anyway, so we can probably just open it. Okay. But I guess normally what you're supposed to do to keep box mappers from learning it, they, they learn how to do this by watching YouTube videos of people opening boxes, where they just use that as their, like, sample, so... Normally, I guess what you're supposed to do to foil their plot is to like shuffle this beforehand or whatnot. But oh. I guess it's not, you know. Okay. It's already an old enough set. Perhaps it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so, grab one too. You, you go for one first. Okay. We can do like the ob mirror if you want. Like we both open ob packs. Sure. I don't know what you're talking about. But... Or no, no. Or you've got Gideon. I'll do Gideon. I'll okay. Do that. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So Gideon mirror. Let's see who wins the Gideon mirror. You want to rip it? Yes. No, it's not ripping. Anything. That's not. Oh, no, flip and rip. Okay, not rip it open, but right. flip and rip. Where do you start? Do you start in the back? Or? Depends. How do you, do you want to like show every card in the pack, or do you want to go straight? I go to the right. Rare? Let's go right to the rare. All right. Rare and uncommon. So I'm gonna go foil niece's renewal. Okay, that's that's a good foil. That's a thing. That's a foil rare. And then sanctum. Hey, Rugen. that's playable. And then retreat is also yeah. that's even seen in modern. All right, retreat to coral helm. Mm-hmm. Vile Aggregate, and then Grove Tender Druids. Okay. That's some stuff, and then somebody's got to touch the void. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they do. So I will start from the front. I've got to have some Swell of Growth. Got some Dispel. I see this card, this pack is playable. It's constructed playable, or it was until we get to stuff like this. <laughs> Nightwatch, not so much. Earthen Arms, not so much. Reckless Cohort, Felidar Cub, and this is 1080p, so feel free to pause if you'd like, see what these bad boys do. Boiling Earth, because, okay, dealing one damage, that's the uh, one damage, not destroy land. Lithomancer's Focus, Smite the Monstrous, Kozilek's Channeler, yes, this is my voice that I do on stuff like this. Mm -hmm. uh, Angel of Renewal, we're in the Uncommons, Blighted Woodland. Now remind me, you put them untapped. Okay, so this actually ramps you. This is a legit ramp card. Titan's Presence. I see a Conduit of Ruin for our rare. Okay. Fair enough. So I play this in Animar EDH. Because okay. you can make this cost the zero in that deck, and then you just go and get an Eldrazi. So that's dumb, but that's a thing. And then Forest, Eldrazi, <gasps> Eldrazi Scion! Oh! No! All right. Pretty cool. Now, would I'm you like to do the Obnixilis mirror? Let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to whisper this well. Oh, you do it. You do it then. No, I don't know why I'm whispering this. Look at the link below. Look at the link below. <laughs> I love this. This is fun. There we go. And I'm not patient, so I like to go right to the good stuff. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Are you going to edit this out? No, I think I'll keep that in. Vampire grunts. Ooh, Mogs. Ooh, the Mogs reclaim. Ooh, the Mogs reclaim. Ooh, the Mog. And a canopy vista. Yes! Yes! Air horn, air horn, air horn. Uh -huh. Okay, I you probably won't whisper the next one. <laughs> Coral Helm, Myers Malice, Boiling Earth. Okay, no, in all serious. Uh, Man Kindy Patrol. Okay. Stalker. Cloud Manta. Sandstone Bridge. Tajuru Beast Master. Demon's Grasp. Skyline Cascade. Tunneling Geopede. Okay. Yeah. Vampiric Rites. Retreat to Valakut. Not my favorite retreat. Dragon Master Outcast! Great right, one. Well, that's a great one. Yes, that actually that is. That legit is. You ever seen the uh, movie Beastmaster? No, I have no. not. It's interesting. So which uh, veteran war leader, or whatever that thing is called, the, the three drop Selesnia ally that cares about allies. No. I will flank it. I will flank the one in the middle with you. And there we go. He's like a punk rocker, kind of on the. On the He's got that almost flock of, almost a flock of seagulls hairdo going on there. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's actually a she, believe it or not. Well, she has a flock of seagulls hairdo. <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah. Could be. Could go either way. We can't make these kinds kinds of assumptions in this day and age anymore. Like that's real breastplate. That's not like the thing you see in fantasy where it's no. like an actual. It's a breast. That makes no sense tactically, like at all. Uh -huh. But this is a real piece of armor. But this so. this person could walk into an either male or female bathroom and no one would question it. Like Another North like. Carolina. No, you can go to anyone <laughs> in North Carolina. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? I've oh. seen, we went, we went to the open and it was like, I was like, okay, you can go to any bathroom you want to. There you go. All right, so we'll start off with, start off with the uncommons. You got a brood monitor. Well, we have a brood monitor. Blister pod honorary mention. That's playable in Aristocrats. But yeah, brood monitor. Then um, Drana's Emissary. Ulamog's Nullifier. You're excited about that one. Is that, is that just? It's playable. Playable. Then we have. Standard. Uh, exert influence, which I don't know if that gets a lot of play. At uh, all. I haven't seen it actually. Uh, gain control of target creature if its power is less than or equal to the number of colors of mana, colors of mana spent to cast this card. I think that was more a thing when Siege Rhino was a card in the four color decks. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So I think I'm gonna take from you. Okay, so this is an example of what I was talking to you earlier about looming spires. Yeah. This is one of the cards that would go in that countryside crusher deck I was on about. Okay. So it just makes red and it gives plus one plus one in first strike. You, you get the idea. Yeah. So notwithstanding that though, not really much going on on this front. So when we get to the uncommons, we start out with my beloved Zugaport Cutthroat, mm. because, you know, you can't have enough blood artist in a deck. Does some work. Mm. Aristocrats, yes. Blister Pod plus Zugaport Cutthroat. True combo. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we have a Fissure here, an Encircling Fissure. Uh, yeah, so it's a Fog that awakens. I'm cool with that. Little win condition, tiny little win condition for Fog decks. Horribly Rye, very appropriately named. Emiria Shepherd. All right, so not the most exciting, but we got a foil, a snapping nardled. Mm. So just a foil common, but okay. Island. Oh, it's a plant token. All right, so you want to do whatever this guy mirror is? Sure. You see what I'm doing here. So what is that here. guy? I don't know this Ulamog card. It's one of Ulamog's brood, obviously, but I can't think of its name. Oh well. He's ugly. Yeah, it's ugly, all right. Uh, may I go first this time? Absolutely. So, for our first uncommon, we have Core Entanglers. We have Tajuru War Collar for Rally plus two plus two. We have Cryptic Cruiser. 
We have Undergrowth Champion, definitely playable. Mountain Elemental. Trample Haste 3 1. So it's a Chandra. Uh, or I guess I don't remember if the Chandra from Oath has Trample Haste or just Haste on her elementals. But they oh, it's ones. Haste. Yeah, it's just Haste. Yes, yeah, tramp Trample Haste or just uh, Haste? I think it's just Haste, yeah. I, yeah, think, I think you're right. I think you're right. Okay. All right, starting off with. Oh, yeah. There you go. Starting off with Chasm Guide. Has Rally. This stuff. Another horribly awry. Jadi Offshoot. Is that how you pronounce that? I suppose. Jadi. We have a Serpentine Spike. And then that stuff. Kind of a. So, this art. Hentai. That's all I'm going to say. It is a tentacle going straight through him. Yeah, it looks rough. That's a rough day at work. Yeah. All right, honey, I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm going to the swamp to get stabbed to death by something. I don't know. Getting stabbed by something that's not even sharp. It's not even. Ugh. It's a bit dull. A dull stabbing. You want to go first this time? Yeah, I'll go first. I'll go again right to the uncommons. That's... Look at that. That's good. That's a good little deal. Another Zulport Cutthroat. Can't go wrong there. Tide Drifter. Uh, retreat to Hagra. It's a decent retreat. And a Sunken Hollow. I'll take that. Oh, That's yeah. a good deal. Oh, yeah. Sunken Hollow. And then land. And then a core ally token. And I have Retreat to Kazandu. Drana's Emissary number 45. Core Blade Whirl. And I wonder what this one is. And this is Renewal. Okay. Yay! We win. Yeah, pay six mana, get three more. <gasps> Foil Zulaport Cutthroat. Oh, that's a winner. Winner, winner, winner chicken dinner. Island Eldrazi's Sidon. Nice. All right, you can go first next if you'd like. All right. Yeah, let's do it. This is just, this pattern just keeps going, man. Who's I did that? it. Who's yeah. that? That's Kiora. Okay. All right. I don't know what's on her head there, but. I don't know what's on her head either. She's know. big into jewelry, I guess. That ju hopefully it's like jewelry, not like a giant freakishly blister. Freakishly huge jewelry. It almost looks like a giant blister. So it could be... Maybe? Maybe? Okay, so I'm going to start off with a card that is gaining in value. And that is Stasis Snare. Mm. And the reason for that is because this new Ulamog has protection from instants. Or not Ulamog, the new Emrakul that's been spoiled has protection from instants. This is not an instant, but it has flash. So lo and behold, that will do something. Spoiler alert, Mono White is definitely not dead. Next we have a Rot Shambler. Eh, when it, another creature dies, put a plus one plus one out for a two drop. Starts at one one. Jotty Offshoot, again. Never was crazy about defenders with only three toughness, even if they are just one drops, but that's just me. Defiant Blood Lord. He doesn't care. No, he does not care. I, this is, I guess, supposed to be like the a creature version of is it Sanguine Bond or Exquisite Blood? One of the two. Uh, and this is just a two mana more, and it's yeah. also a creature that flies. Mountain Omnith Elemental. Fair enough. You're up. Okie doke. First uncommon is Chasm Guide. This stuff. Oh, there's a Blighted Gorge. Sacrifice Blighted Gorge, pay a, a bunch of mana and deals two damage to target creature or player. We have a Core Blade Whirl. It's a two drop. This stuff. Yeah. <gasps> Scatter oh. to the Winds. I like that card. That's a good card. You have a little yeah. Awaken component. Mm -hmm. A Mountain and a Scion. I like yeah. control cards that can be win conditions in the late game. Absolutely. So that's, that's it for me. You're up this time, I think. Okay. What was that? Was that card that uh, people were playing? The blue, the blue prism or blue prism? The what are we on about? The blue prism is the, the one that gives you an extra turn. Oh, uh, part the water veil. Part the water veil. Yeah. Okay. I see, you see that a lot. Patrick was playing that tonight. All right. I'm, here's your. Wait, he was playing this in modern. modern? Yeah. Any, okay. Any? Okay. Well, no, he played it. He wasn't in the tournament, but he played. Gotcha, um, gotcha. Jason. 
All right, starting off with a Grove Rumbler. Trample has got a landfall component. Looks pretty nice. Adverse conditions. Devoid. Taps creatures. Stuff like that. Pilgrim's Eye. Uh, goes and gets lands. Goes and gets stuff. And Oblivion Ooh. Sower. Hey, buddy. I'm going to foil back to Anwan. Much better when Delve was in standard, but also still pretty sick. I've got a Swarm Surge, it's a pretty sorcery right there. Mm -hmm. And a Plane, and an Octopi. Oh, if only Crush of Tentacles was in there, that would have been all the better. Now I have, for my uncommons, Rising Miasma. Sounds like a disease. Yeah, you're not kidding. Serene Steward, whenever you gain life, you can start throwing counters and stuff. Blighted Step, Steep. S-T-E-P-P-E. -P -P -E. Is that step? I think you can go either way with that. I'm okay. pretty sure if I've heard people say it either way. For gaining life, Guardian of Tazim. I don't think you see any play whatsoever. This one just taps down their creatures. Not that great. Planes, Elemental. Would you like to get on on the action? Yeah. You should. I'm organizing. All right. It's helpful. I figured. Just wanted to yeah. make sure. Either do it now or do so it now, tomorrow. unfortunately, we can't pick ones that match because okay. now none of them, finally, none of them do. Okay, there's so, Pat in the middle. Yeah, there's Pat. And then, uh, <gasps> Oh, now they do! I'll tell you what, I'll just go with this oh, one. And then, and then they all three yeah. match. Welcome to match three game, the box. Alright, is it, whose turn is it now? I have no idea. I think it's yours. Okay. Right? No, wait, you just win, right? No, I just win. Okay, yeah, so it's mine, and then it goes back to you? Yeah, I... Yeah, because I just showed you Rising Miasma. Yeah. All right. I had Rising Miasma one time. <laughs> Is that what the kids are calling it these days? Yeah, it was a it was very itchy, but you know, a good round of antibiotics took care of it in a couple good, weeks. Good, good, good. Uh, skitter skin, because yes. regenerate is a thing. Can't block. Blighted fen. Oh, so the flavor on re regenerate, but can't block. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so Blight Defend for making them sacrifice a creature. That's okay. Ulamog's Spoiler. Two cards they own from Exile in the Graveyard for four plus one plus one counters. Okay, so a six mana nine nine potentially. Woodland Wanderer. Okay, so this doesn't see much play, but I have run this thing in Modern, and if you ever see me bring five color elementals, watch out, because this is a four mana six six Vigilance Trample. Hmm. Island Knight Ally. I swear, if I ever get the cards back for that again, beware. Done. Beware. Oh, and I guess these go over there too. Starting off with Stas uh, Stasis Snare. Yeah. Only $27 a piece. <laughs> Maybe not quite that no, much, no. but yeah. Uh, Roar Shambler. Rot Shambler, sorry. Rot Shambler. Uh, whenever another creature you control dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on Rot Chambler. That's pretty nice. Blighted Gorge. Wait, wait. Oh, Philidor Sovereign. Oh, EDH cards. Yep, yep, with that stuff. And then you got another emblem and a Mountain. Yeah. All right, so you're up this time. Also I had a Skitter Skin one time as well. Did you? Yeah, that was, uh, that was kind of painful. That was not fun, I imagine. Yeah, it was horrible. One of the more difficult times in my life. My fen was blighted once too. It was blighted with all kinds of things. Just one night, yeah. and suddenly your fen is blighted. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, transgress the mind. That, oh. does, that does a lot of good stuff there. I've seen that. People play that all the time. <laughs> yeah, another stasis more snare. Stasis snare. That's a third. A spawning bed. That's what that's they call it, it that's these what days. They call it. That's how you get the uh, blighted fen. The children of the night. hanging out the spawning bed. And then you've got a lantern scout. Okay. That's good stuff. Good, yeah. And a land and uh, an elemental 5 5. Speaking of transgress the mind, there's another one of mine. Stasis. What? Dude, we got a place at Stasis snare. Okay, Ruination guys, we're not quite the same pack. Watch out, Umamog, we're coming for you. We Green Warden of Marasa, aka Regrowth when it enters and when it leaves. Well, when it dies, specifically. Hmm. Yeah, so this basically, you know, Regrowth the card. 
Yeah. This gets that when it enters the battlefield and when it dies, but it's six mana. Okay. Still a good card. I like it as a control win condition if you have a green deck. Neat. You know, oh, yet another pieces. emblem. So, uh, shout outs, honorable mention to Anticipate because I play this even in modern. A lot of work. Yeah. Anticipate gets a lot of work. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so I'll go on this one if you don't mind. Yeah. I keep doing the match two or the the matching for us. That's why I'm picking them out. All right. So going to our first uncommon. Make sure none of the commons are all that great. There's a blister pod. That's about the only one that really jumps out to me though. And so we have a plated crusher. I think this is actually the first plated crusher we've come across. Seven mana trample hexproof seven six. Great limited bomb. Maybe not in pack wars because green, green, green is in the cost, but yeah. you get the idea. A uh, retreat to a Maria. So if we're putting allies out, that's that's about it most of the time. A uh, tide caller because getting your cards with awaken back is pretty sweet, and then land creatures you control are flying. So a win condition and awaken control decks. Another Hydra. Hell, hail Hydra. Hail. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hail Hydra. All right, and then Swamp Plant, there we go. Stuff. Stuffed, indeed. All right, commons, and then we're gonna go right to the uncommons. Rolling Thunder, that gets some work. That's a nice sideboard card, standard, for some decks. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, Hagra Sharpshooter. Um, I don't know that does anything in standard. <laughs> uh, it does not, you are not wrong. Blighted uh, Cataract. My grandpa had some cataracts. <laughs> Mine too. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, he went to Colorado. He had some medicine in Colorado for him. That's the draw two cards at the yeah. bottom there. <laughs> and then uh, bring bring to light. Oh, that does good, things. Good it's got card. converge. Search your library for a creature, instant or sorcery card with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of colors of mana spent to cast. Bring to light. Exile the card. Blah, blah, blah. Standard so. playable, modern playable even? Yep. Yeah. But not a card you want to read every day. No, fair enough. <laughs> I think this one belongs to you. Okay. And then Europe. That's a dude right there. What a great beard on that guy, I just want to say. You know, it's, a, it's the oh. faux tee. Is that what you call that? Is that a goatee or a faux tee? I have no tea? idea what you call it, where there's like none in the middle, but it just keeps crescendoing on the side. Well, he doesn't really have... Uh, a mustache. It doesn't just have a mustache. No, it, it drapes around the bottom of the the chin, but doesn't go over the top of the lip. So I, I think we call that a faux tee. <laughs> I just made I, that up. Do we need a professional opinion over here? <laughs> Would you call that a faux tee? I have no So that like line that you start to get as you age, right here on the cheek. Yeah. He has hair to cover it. He does. So good, good smart man. Smile, smile lines. Smile lines. He covers the smile. That's what us older people call. Back in my days, you young whippersnappers. Royals Retribution. Hey! Hey, what? These are mirror packs. Another Pilgrim's Eye. Look at that. This is, it looks like a, a fun drone to fly around. Uh, a Royal... Royal Spout. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good card. Really good card. Wait, wait, wait. Wasteland Strangler. Oh. Nice. Uh, enters the battlefield, you may put a card into the uh, an opponent owns into exile uh, from exile into the graveyard. If you do target creature, gets minus three, minus three, and then forest and Eldrazi Scion. So I start out with a Royals Retribution, a good limited card for when the game goes on long and you can actually take out. <laughs> this becomes a five for one in the perfect scenario. Uh, Deathless Behemoth for vigilance and sacrificing scions to return it from your graveyard. Coastal Discovery, draw two cards for four mana. Ugh. But for six mana, you can do that as a four four. That's fine. Ugin's Insight, speaking of drawing cards, this is a really sick uh, pack if you're playing blue for limited. Uh, Ugin's Insight, Scry X, where X is the highest CMC. So play this in Ultrasy decks, I guess. Kite Sail Scout, or just Control in general. Uh, that's our foil, and then a forest. And a core ally. Nice. All right. And we have two cures, so I guess we go for them. I think it's your turn again. All right. It's all right. Yeah. Oh, wow, the Obnixilis. 
so the next one we have over here I haven't seen enough rush of ice or uh, whatever the one drop is that unsummons them like rush of ice I haven't seen enough of those I'm a big fan so I see Herald of Kozilek because making colorless spells you cast cost one less how is this not Seymour standard play? I mean, I know the answer to that, but it seems unlike... Sylvan Scrying, I play this in Modern, and in fact, obviously Tron runs it. Tron is less of a thing now that I is banned, though. Malakir Familiar, Flying Death Touch, just always the one for one. Noyan Dar Royal Shaper, cast an instant of sorcery, put three plus one plus one counters on a land that then basically awakens. So good control win condition, sands that it's five mana for a four four. Planes, market card. You're up. There we go. So we're gonna start off with a uh, forerunner of slaughter. That's a band. That's gotta be a band somewhere. It's ba it's a band. Oh, I mean, like that should be a band's name. Forerunner of slaughter. Yes. <laughs> forerunner of slaughter. I don't know. I heard of a band that their name was. Uh, they sang as they slew. I thought that was a really cool name for a band. Okay. You have spawning bed. Another one of those. A Wind Rider Patrol. It's mm -hmm. a five drop flyer, four three. Um, when when uh, deals combat damage to a player, you get to cry too. Syndicate. Nice. Lots of value in that, no mm -hmm. doubt about it. And a Plains and another Eldrazi Scion. You pick whichever two you like. They're all ob. All, all right, zombie. Yeah, I'll pick yours. Okay. Mm. They're ob zombie. Ob zombie, that's what I like to call them. Oh, we almost got the two, the double Gideon. Not quite though, right? All right. So I think you're up. Okay. All right, got another plated crusher. That's a great card in Legacy, if you ever want to try something. <laughs> plated crusher. Yep. Maybe not Legacy. Maybe not, okay. I'm just gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about no, with some of this stuff. I'm gonna make it up as I go. Ulmov's Reclaimer sees no play in Standard. That's actually really true. Mm -hmm. uh, Pilgrim's Eye, that does another thing. And look at that, a Lumbering Falls, another land. This Very is the nice. third land and a, and a Swamp and an Eldrazi Scion. That's good, we need some land cards. And so I have a Scythe Leopard for all of you running Zoo in Standard right now or trying to run Zoo. God help you if you are. There's a Sylvan Scrying over mm -hmm. here because more getting lands is a good thing. Carrier Thrall. As much as I don't like this card as, as far as its mechanics go, the flavor of it is very nice. A vampire taken over by the Eldrazi. And Zada Hedron Grinder. Okay, so giving all of your creatures, well I guess back in the day it would have been become immense. Nowadays, I don't know, what do you give your creatures with Zada? Whether everything. Because instant sorcery. Yeah, so basically it targets everything it could target. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's everything, right? Yeah, every other creature. So, I mean, like, it used to be Become Immense or Teamer Battle Rage. Mm. Now I guess you can't really do those. Foil Island. That was, spoiler alert, that mm -hmm. was my first foil. It was an island. And then a Swamp, and then an Eldrazi Scion. I oh, might feel a little bit cheated if that was my foil. Uh, well... Oh, it would have worked if we... Oh, well, whatever. Screw if it. we had just not messed up earlier. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. I, I get what you're saying. It's fine. Just say it. In that case... Chris is screwed up. We'll just do this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I screwed up. <laughs> it's all of my fault. I'm having fun. Good times. Good times. We do have... Well, actually, we don't have to hurry. Let me go get the cord out while you're showing off the pack. Okay, I'm going to show off this pack. I'm going to go right to the... We got a Chasm Guide. If you ever need to get through a Chasm, this is the guy you hire. He'll get you anywhere you need to go in any Chasm. This is uh, Vampire's Rites uh, an Enchantment. It does stuff. You know, this is actually a really good limited card, too. Um, yeah, Sucker Rescue, you get one life and draw a card. Mostly the draw a card part. Yeah. Uh, retreat to Coral Helm. Whoa, whoa. I don't want you to see that just yet. Retreat to Coral Helm. Uh, land, there's a battlefield under your control, uh, then you choose one of those from the following, which is an awesome card, awesome for limiting a landfall, if you get a landfall component going. And then Gruesome Slaughter. Till end of turn, creatures you control gain tap. This creature deals combat, combat damage equal to its power, uh, equal to, 
equal to its power in, yeah, to target creature. There you go. It does bad stuff to other creatures. It does. So before I get to the uh, uncommons, shoutouts to Volcanic Upheaval for being the best land destruction we're allowed to have anymore. Four mana is as close as we can get to anything playable yeah. for LD. Yeah, and some speed too, yeah. No stone rains anymore. Yeah, that's the advantage. That's why you're paying extra mana, but come on. And now there's Forerunner of Slaughter. So giving color this creature's haste. Breaker of Armies. <laughs> Giving colorless creatures, giving colorless creatures all of our uncommons in this pack are colorless. Well, this is an enchantment, but whenever you cast a colorless spell, it spell it deals one damage to a creature player. We get a Hellkite, an Akuum Hellkite, flying in landfall is one damage to target creature or player, and if that land is a mountain, oh wait a minute, yeah, if the land that enters is a mountain, two damage instead, and then a plains and a Sihon. So this is good in limited, but. You know, it's a rare. And outside of limited, not so much. So with our triple Gideon, boink, boink, okay. and more Pat Benatars below, I guess. Couple Pats. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's like a never-ending box. That's right. a good problem to have. Absolutely. Nice to All right, it's you first, right? Uh, I suppose, yeah. Uh, nothing that I see that's great in here. In the commons. Angel of Renewal for extra life gain. Retreat to Emiria for... Uh, I was about to say extra life gain, but that's the uh, green one, weirdly enough. Dampening Pulse. Okay, so four mana, your, cre your opponent's creatures get minus one, minus zero oh from then on. Yeah, Fair great and limited. Theme. Yes. Oh yes, that is great and limited. And just against token decks in general, our rare is Hero of Gamma Fodder. Goma Fodder? Goma Fodder, there we go. There you Goma go. What did I say? Gamma Fodder? I don't know. Go, go get. Gamma uh, Fodder. Hey, Gamma Fodder. Meet Cletus. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, Cletus. Gamma Fodder. Rally Indestructible. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Forest plant done. You're up. <laughs> A Grove Rumbler. I had some Mexican earlier. Gave me a Grove Rumbler. Is that a thing? That's not, that's, I'm Is trying. it possible to go to Taco Bell and eat enough that you do not feel, that you actually feel full? I don't know that it's possible. Um, I, I don't eat a Taco Bell unless it's... Smart man. Yeah, Smart man. I try not to eat a Taco Bell. That's called Scred. What happens after you eat Taco Bell? That's called Scred. It's bad stuff. Scred red, man. Is that what your inside of your underwear looks like? Making a modern joke. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, you eat Taco Bell and then the inside of your underwear looks like Scred Red. Okay. A Coombe Stonewalker. That's gross. I'm yeah. sorry about that. No, I'm not. Poor okay. guy. Uh, infuse with the elements. It does stuff. Converge, put X 1-1 one, one counters on target creature where X is the number of colors of mana. Just, you know, all the, the converge ones, it's very long, just very, very wordy. Mm -hmm. Lots of words. Right, Beast Caller Savant has haste. Add one mana of any color to, to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell. A forest. Is that a forest? Is that like a tree on top of a... A hedron. Okay. Tree on top of a hedron. It's like, I'm not touching you. I'm not <laughs> touching you. Yeah. Shout out to Clutch of Currents. <laughs> Tanjiru War Caller. Rally plus two plus two. Herald of Kozilek. They cost less. Is this really the first Pathway Arrows we've come across? I think so. How is that the first Pathway Arrows we've come across? It's an impossibility. So, this is awful. This card is awful. Equipped creature has pay two, tap. This creature does one damage to target creature. Not even creature or player, just creature. If a colorless creature is dealt damage this way, tap it. Okay. Smothering Abomination because flying and you have to sacrifice a creature, but whenever you do, you draw a card. Ugh. Um, there we go. That's pretty much it. Hmm. There's the market card. Bad pack's bad. There we go. Smothering Abomination. Sounds like uh, an ex-girlfriend I had. She was a smothering abomination. I don't know. Okay. Um, yep. Tajiro... Tajiro? War caller. Tajiro. Hey! Mirror pack. There you go. Herald of Kozilek. Ko Ko Kozlek? 
Cut either way. Cut, okay, I've heard it both ways. Encircling fissure, prevent all uh, combat damage that would be dealt uh, this turn. That's good. Yeah. It's got a little waking component. From beyond, there you go. I see a lot of people playing that. So. Oh, now what is Get, this one? Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, put a 1 1 Scion. Oh, yes. Draws. Okay. Creature token onto the battlefield. It has that sacrifice at one mana to your mana pool. Yeah. It you know, also has the activated ability of 1 1 green sacrifice from beyond. Search your library for an Eldrazi card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Okay, so like the ramp decks run that, I imagine? Yes. yes. Okay. And then you got a foil uh, Jadi offshoot, full yeah. land card, and a Scion. Goes well with that from beyond. All right. You're up. Okay. And then the last two are Pat and. Can't think of a, a rock star that Gideon would look like. Yeah. I'm gonna open my last one like totally ASMR. Like. Okay. All right. We're not to the last one just yet, but I'm gonna do it. Whose turn is it? You're up. Okay. Whose turn is it? Ooh, Fire Mantle Mage. I don't think we've seen one of those yet. Was it uncommon, Fire Mantle Mage? Well, I, I think you're right. At least I can't remember having seen one. It's got Rally. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever the mage or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control gain menace until end of turn. That's probably pretty good in, in Limited. Mm -hmm. uh, another Dampening Pulse. Awesome card for Limited. Hedron Archive. Yeah. I see some work. I've seen that people play that. Does. In standard, yeah, I've seen them in standard quite often. All right, then we have March from the Tomb. Ally decks, rejoice. Re uh, return any number of target ally creature cards uh, with total converted mana cost eight or less nice. from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah. That's so total mana cost, is that right? Yep. Okay, gotcha. So a four, a three, and a one, or four twos, etc. Okay, very cool. If they had just taken off the restriction on CMC, it might be broken for standard, but then it would actually be playable in Eternal formats. Okay. And I would have loved to see an ally deck in a modern. That's yeah. nice. I have uh, more Looming Spire because I bring that up and then it shows up everywhere. That's how this works. So Expedition Envoy, which we haven't seen enough of throughout this. Mm -hmm. That gets, that gets some play, right? In it that, definitely it does. does, yeah. One drop, two one, and it's an ally. That's the big, that's the kicker, I guess. Void Attendant. Crumble to Dust. Is this our first Crumble to Dust? It is. It's the very first one. Wow. I know you play this against Tron in Modern, uh, just be, for the same reason you run Sewing Salt, but it's easier to cast. Angelic Captain, because allies. Because allies. Mountain Core Ally. All right, would you like Gideon or Pat Benetton? I'll go with Pat. All right. You go first on this one. All right. I'll round it out. What's uh, a Pat Benatar song? Which one? Is it, I am a warrior. Is that, is that a Pat Benatar song? I hate no? to say, but off the top of my head, at least at this hour, I don't remember. Uh, have been in turn. Ooh, this is a good thing. Blood Bond Vampire. It does some work whenever you gain life. Put a 1 1 uh, counter on Blood Bond Vampire. This stuff. There you go. You got a Blighted Cataract. Ulmamog's Despoiler. Mm -hmm. And then our very last card is a Planar Outburst. Oh, that's nice. Sick. Destroy all non-land creatures. Has an awakened four component. Very nice. And then you got a full art land blue mm -hmm. and an elemental five five. Super sick control card. Absolutely. Right, you have to do this from quiet. Right. Here we go. We're gonna try to do this as ASMR as we can. So I'm gonna get all my noise out now. So we start off with our Zendikar, our battle for Zendikar back. I wish I had a regular Zendikar back. Exaggerating all of the sounds. I may even just take this section and move it to another video too. We're gonna start off 
we have an Orin Reef Invoker. We have a brilliant Spectrum. Draw X cards, X's converge, and then discard two. Often just draw four, discard two. If not, why are you playing this card? Nirgana Assassin. Another if you gain life in a format that doesn't have enough life gain. Goblin Warbane, because it didn't just see a reprint in Modern Masters 2. Tandem Tactics. Love it, gotta love it. Evolving Wilds, this is our new fetch land. Silent Skimmer. That actually is a 0-4, but it's really a 2-4, depending on how you look at it. Rush of Ice. I dig it. The blue player in me digs it. Natural Connection. More ramp. Always more ramp. Or, I think, strictly worse rampant growth. Yes, strictly worse rampant growth. Oh wait, it's an instant. Never mind. Unnatural Aggression. So, the one that comes in and fights stuff. You're good. You're good, man. It's all good. Grove Rumbler. <coughs> <laughs> Not what you can do about that. I go on Stone Waker. Oh, this is where those three ones with Trample and Haste come in. This guy. <laughs> okay, ASMR video over. Yeah, oh, man. That was kind of a go. mediocre box opening, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, by value, it might have broken even, but without looking at the prices right now, I'm not sure. Yeah. All right, we'll see you later. Okay.